Hello YouTube. I'm here today with part two of my Target and Ulta haul. Um, if you missed the first part, I will link it down below. It's all of the makeup that I got. I told this story at the beginning of my first video, but I won a uh, gift card. I won a gift card to Target at this raffle that I went to um, at a, a fair. And uh, the one of the ladies at the raffle actually gave me the gift card that she won, which was to Ulta. And those are my two favorite stores. So I am so grateful for that lady's generosity. I wish I'd gotten her name so I could write her a thank you note because it was just so sweet. I did go to Ulta and Target and I had a blast. Yeah, definitely check out my first video in the description box and um, stay tuned if you want to see the skincare half. Or like three quarters. I got a lot of skincare. So the first um, set of things that I got are from Pixie. And in a previous video, um, my skincare haul, you know, whatever the last one was, I talked about trying to use Pixie products. And I've really been liking them, except for the glycolic serum that I was using at night. Uh, it's just too harsh. It was like sticky and weird, not a fan. So I got the hydrating milky serum to use at night. It is um, much more hydrating and less into like, it's not like the glow serum kind of thing. It's more of just hydrating. Uh, it's supposed to plump and soften fine lines, which will go great with my um, nourishing night mask that I adore. It has rosehip oil, uh, vitamin C's, and rose flower extract. And uh, I'll just pop it out. The packaging on these is super adorable too. The dropper comes like this and the bottle comes like that. And mm, it's, I did that in the last video too. There's a stopper in these. I don't know why I keep, oh, it smells like roses. Oh yeah, it's much already, if not nearly as goopy as the um, glycolic one which is exactly what I was looking for. Oh, that feels so much better. It's not sticky or anything. It absorbed very quickly. I am really excited, really excited to try this out. I think I'm just gonna go ahead and get rid of the glycolic one. It's just not working for me. But this one, I really feel like will work. It feels much, even right now, just after putting it on, it feels smoother than the other side of my hand. So that's really cool. I love like immediate reactions. What's the word for it? Um, instant gratification. I am definitely into instant gratification. I also picked up the Glow Tonic in their full size. I had like a little sample size one and I really liked it, but I was also trying to use up, I was using Witch Hazel as, um, as my toner, so I used up the rest of the bottle and now I'm out of that, so I'm gonna move back to this Glow Tonic. This does have 5% glycolic acid in it, but I feel like using this and then putting the moisturizer on top of it is going to work better than using this and then putting more glycolic acid on top, if that makes sense. Uh, I do really like this, and I liked it even when I was using the glycolic serum. I think just the two of them together was too much. So, got full size of that. Uh, this is the Vitamin Wake Up Mix Mist with orange blossom and citrus extracts. And this is supposed to be, um, actually it's supposed to be a toner too. I did not realize that. I thought it was like a makeup refresher. And it's hard to read this because it's like metallic -y. Before moisturizing, strengthens and tones. After makeup, adds hydration. Anytime, cool, refresh, and... Oh, so you can use it while you're wearing your makeup to like refresh it. It's supposed to be energizing, which citrus is. And I just, I was really intrigued by it. That's another thing that my local Target does not have. Their pixie section is painfully bare. The last thing from Pixie that I picked up is their Peel and Polish. It has 6% lactic acid and papaya. It also has sugarcane extract. So it is um, just a facial peel, which I am very interested in. I had one from um, Pacifica that I, I wasn't a huge fan of. I didn't hate it. I didn't like it, you know. I love Pixie skincare, so um, I really do have high hope for this. I feel like Pixie's kind of underrated in the skincare, too. I found these two cute little, like, travel size things. This is the Yes to Cucumber Soothing Calming Micellar Cleansing Water. 
I think it's really cute. <laughs> um, and I've never tried their calming micellar water, so I thought this, or I've never tried any micellar water from Yes2. And I like soothing products, especially when I'm taking off my makeup, because I feel like that's when my skin gets the most aggravated. Even though I use like a cleansing balm and very gentle, you know, rubbing motions, my skin still feels aggravated. So I'm hoping that this will not aggravate it. And if it doesn't, well, it was like, I don't know, two or three bucks for something this size, which it has like a cool little applique or pump on the top, which makes it, you know, products are going to last longer because I'm not squirting it all over my hand. If I don't like it, I'm out a couple bucks, whatever. And then this is a witch hazel I had never seen before. It's the aloe vera formula, um, rose petal witch hazel, witch hazel from Thaler. Thayer. Yeah, no, definitely very faint smell of roses, but it's like a natural rose scent, which is definitely a very small opening. And it doesn't, that smells really good. I'm definitely, I love roses. But I'm hoping with the aloe vera, it won't be as harsh. I was using just a straight witch hazel and that, it, I felt like it was a little too much. So I'm hoping with the aloe vera and the rose in it, it's going to be more gentle. I, I'm really excited to try that out tonight. I just ran out of my other one, so it was good timing. And then, lastly, from Target, I got masks. I am a mask addict, and I have been on a no-buy mask thing for quite a while because I've been trying to use them up. But when I got the gift card, I just, I had to. First off, I have to pick this up every time I see it because every time I see it, there's only one left, and I'm always afraid that they're going to discontinue it. This is the uh, Camu Camu Anti-Wrinkle Mask, and it's one of my favorite firming masks. It really just, oh my goodness, it sucks everything into place. It is phenomenal. I love this, and I love the brand. You know, Alba Botanica really just does it for me. I like a lot of their different stuff. So obviously, I had to pick this up when I saw it. This, I had never seen before. It is an... It is a hydrogel mask from uh, K. Bella. I really like hydrogel masks. I, I almost like them better than sheet masks because I feel like they stay on your face better. But this one is like a seaweed um, intense hydrating mask. And I've been really into like sea enzymes and seaweed and like I find that just so fascinating. So this um, also has gold in it to reflect light for radiant glowing skin. Just sounded fun, so I grabbed one. <laughs> um, this was interesting. It's also from, oh no, this is from Miss Spa. And I might have also gotten this one at, I think it's, this one might have come from Ulta. I don't know why it's in my Target bag. I can't remember. I think they sell Miss Spa at both places though, so it could, maybe it comes from either one. I'm not sure. Anyways, this is the Bee Venom Plumping Mask. Oh boy, I am really excited to try this. I know that uh, I've heard a couple of things about, um, oh, what is it, Nip and Fab's Bee Venom plumping, you know, like, uh, moisturizer or serum. I've heard that that is really good. So I'm hoping that this is along the same vein and it really just plumps up your skin. I love plumping and firming. I just love that, that kind of tightened, smooth feeling that you get from plumping and firming products. So I'm definitely, I think I might try this out tonight, actually. I got the uh, new, I've never seen these before either, the Yes2 Cotton Comfort Paper Mask. I thought when I picked it up that the actual, actual mask was made out of cotton, like it was a piece of cloth or something, but it's a paper mask, which is fine. I still am interested in that, but they, um, it's supposed to be super calming. And I have been having this issue with allergic reactions to something. I think I'm narrowing it down to what it might be, but I'm still not there yet. So when I do get a breakout, I like to have calming products on hand. So I'm going to give this one a shot the next time I get a breakout and hopefully that will help reduce the redness and calm the itching and all of that good stuff. And that's why I picked this one up. And that is also why I picked up the Primrose Oil Mud Mask because this mud mask saved my skin last time. It was such a bad reaction. I ended up going to the doctor and going on prednisone for like a week because it was just so bad and it wasn't going away. 
But while I was on the prednisone, I used this mask and it just was a hundred times better. It felt so good. So I grabbed another one and I also got the argan oil mud mask because um, I wanted to see if that this would do the same or something similar. Primrose mask. It's supposed to calm and soothe, but the argan oil is supposed to brighten and condition. And I'm kind of wondering what the actual differences are. So I got both of them and I was going to test them out. Test it from Target onto Ulta. <laughs> I didn't get anything super expensive at Ulta because I wanted to make my gift card stretch. This, I think, is the only skin related item that is not a mask. I have a problem. Is there like a face mask anonymous? Because I am addicted. I am literally addicted. I do probably one mask a day. Sometimes I double mask. It's awful. I guess I could be like addicted to crack or meth or something. So face masks aren't that bad. But still, like this is ridiculous. Anywho, this is the St. Tropez One Night Only Wash Off Face and Body Lotion. This is what it's supposed to be a tan that washes off. Intriguing. It was in the clearance section. It was five bucks. So thought I'd give it a shot. It just sounded really interesting. I got two masks from Formula 1006. 1006, I guess. I this is the Get Your Glow On Skin Brightening Peel Mask with Papaya and Citrus. And this one is the Be Berry Smooth Moisturizing Peel Mask with Blueberry and Pineapple. I love a good peel mask. It just, there's something so satisfying. Remember how you like peel glue off your hands? Like Elmer's glue, you spread it on your hands, let it dry, and then peel it off? You get to do that as an adult on your face, and it smells good. I just love peel off masks. <laughs> so I grabbed these two because I've never seen um, these before, and I have a couple of Formula 1006 masks that I do really like. So. Hopefully that these are as good as the ones that I have. I don't know. Oh, and they were like buy one, get one, the brand. So got a deal on that, which is awesome. I got two hair masks from Nexus. This is the Humectris Ultimate Moisture Intensely Hydrating Mask for normal to dry hair. Um, after I screwed up, <laughs> oh my goodness. After going to the beach and, uh, you know, salt water and everything in my hair, I didn't bring a good conditioner with me, so when I got home, my hair was so dry, I felt like it was going to crack when I did this. It was awful. And luckily, I managed to get it back mostly to normal, but I grabbed a couple of masks thinking maybe I can get it better than normal. So this was the uh, Intensely Hydrating Mask with the Protein Complex. And this one is the Vital 8-in-1 Multi-Benefit System Rejuvenating Mask for Normal to Fine Hair, which I have. Coconut and protein complex has concentrated protein. That is a mouthful. Oh my goodness. So this one is definitely more hydrating on the, you know, the hydrating end. And this one is supposed to be more of like a multi-purpose. So I'll give them a shot. Try them out. I love a good hair mask. And on to, I feel like I'm doing a magic trick. Pick a mask. Any mask. Remember what mask it is? So I got a couple of doubles in here. And I guess I'll just start with those, get those out of the way. I picked up a couple of the Vitality from uh, Tony Moly. I know I said don't buy these in store, but I ran out. And I was in the store. So I grabbed two. Um, this is one of my favorite Tony Moly masks I've ever tried. It's just something about it just makes your skin look better after you use it. More vitalized, perhaps? <laughs> oh boy, that was painful. Um, so yeah, I grabbed two to have a backup. And then I also grabbed a couple of these. I actually got three because it was the last three they had and it was very intriguing to me. This is a hyaluronic, I said it right, hyaluronic acid mask sheet. And I actually tried this out the other night. Loved it. It was really nice, very light, but, um, also very hydrating. It was, just, my skin just felt so soft afterwards. So I, grabbed, I had two left of these because I've already used one. Another Tony Moly mask I got. Actually, most of these are Tony Moly. 
Oh boy, I love their masks though. I, I, there's only been a couple that I tried that I didn't really like and none that I hated. So, I mean, it's a pretty good bet. This is the Illuminating Pearl Mask Sheet. And I've never tried the pearl. Um, my husband got me for Christmas like this big pack of different, like a variety of Tony Moly masks. And uh, it, they didn't include the pearl. I've never tried the pearl before. So I very much look forward to trying them. I love the I'm Real line. I just, almost all of them are great. And a couple of them are just good. So it's like none of them are bad. The Pureness 100 line, however, I've only tried one. And that was the hyaluronic acid that I tried the other night. So I also got the Green Tea Mask. It's supposed to be soothing. And I got the Propolis mask, which I think is honey, and it is also supposed to be soothing. Uh, these I was thinking about keeping around until uh, I get like a breakout or really dry skin or some something, and then that's what I keep my soothing masks for. So probably won't be trying these out soon, but I might. And this one is the red ginseng, and this is supposed to add shine which I'm assuming means like glow because I don't think it's supposed to make you oily. I guess we'll find out. I also got a bubble mask sheet that I've, I've never seen a face, like a sheet mask that bubbles. So I'm very intrigued by this. It's supposed to be mild bubble peeling is what it says. So it's supposed to be like a peeling mask. It's supposed to cleanse away impurities, dead skin cells, and sebum hiding in pores. And even provide a massaging effect as microfoam instantly forms when the charcoal mask, which has excellent impurity absorbing effect, excellent impurity absorbing effect, <laughs> comes in contact with the air. So it's supposed to be bubbling and fizzing and feel good on your skin and just really get down into your pores and get everything out. So that's fun and I feel like it would be a really like a fun experience. I really want to try the e.l.f. bubbling mask, but I keep forgetting every time I go to Target or Walmart or whatever. I keep forgetting to grab it. So I'm going to try this one out. All right. I've only talked for like an hour and a half. The last item that I got in this haul <laughs> is a Tony Moly mask, but this one is actually for your feet. It's the a Magic Foot Peeling Shoes, and it's supposed to just make all the dead skin peel off your feet, which sounds disgusting. And then you're left with beautiful, wonderful, magical, soft feet. My friend tried it out and she said that she didn't see a whole lot of different, but I have some serious dry skin on my, the balls of my feet, especially have thick calluses, and on my heels, just they're dry and cracked. So this, I might have more luck than she did because she said her feet weren't awful to start with. So yeah, that's what they're supposed to look like. I don't know. Sounded like fun. That's all I got to say about that, which seems to be the theme of this haul. Oh, that sounds like fun. <laughs> um, anyways, that is everything for my skincare haul. I hope you guys enjoyed this. Don't forget to check out my uh, makeup haul if you missed it. Again, it's down below. I hope you guys are having a wonderful day, and I will see you in my next video. Bye.